Disturbing allegations to tell you about from a really important voice, someone we've covered a lot around here, and a crucial January 6th witness. According to The Guardian, former Trump aide Cassidy Hutchinson reveals in her brand new book that she was groped by Rudy Giuliani on January 6th, the day of the insurrection, behind the scenes of the rally that preceded the Capitol attack. A spokesperson for Giuliani denies the allegations. Hutchinson, according to that reporting, describes the former New York City mayor turned election conspiracy theory peddler and Trump co-defendant this way, quote, like a wolf closing in on its prey. More from that Guardian report, quote, describing meeting with Giuliani backstage at Donald Trump's speech near the White House before his supporters marched on Congress in an attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Hutchinson says the former New York mayor turned Trump lawyer put his hand, quote, under my blazer than under my skirt, end quote. We're back with Molly and Caddy. I'm sorry you got the gross block. Um, <laughs> so two things. I mean, Cassidy Hutchinson testified before Congress in taped depositions and live for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And after her first interactions with the committee when she was represented by someone on the team in the family, um, after she broke with that person, she was viewed as highly credible. She's also been before all of the prosecutors, I believe, who've indicted Donald Trump. So her credibility, um, not really an open question. The allegations against Rudy Giuliani have been made by other people as well. And I wonder what you make of this new chapter of really finding out from Trump insiders what it was really like, not just on the inside, but on the inside on January 6th. Yes, I mean, in cases like this, you stack up, as we learned during Me Too, right? You stack up all the pieces of the puzzle. Giuliani is being sued by a former assistant for sexual harassment. The level of detail in what Cassidy Hutchinson describes, and it's really, it's the, it made my sort of skin crawl when you read about his frozen fingers on her thigh. I mean, it's really awful kind of descriptions. So, and then Giuliani's team pushing back and saying, well, why is she only coming out with this after two years? We know that it takes victims of sexual abuse years sometimes, if they ever do, to come out with these kind of allegations and a degree of bravery that Cassidy Hutchinson showed in her January the 6th testimony. So you can kind of not, you kind of tick off all of the reasons to give her the benefit of the doubt, in, at least in, in the hearing over this. But then she also goes to say that she had to kind of run off through the tent on a, another mission for Mark Meadows. And it reminds you of what this one individual was going through on that day, of the kind of chaos of it. And at the same time, John Eastman, she says, leered at her, seeming to see what Rudy Giuliani was doing. It just it, it looks like an incredibly unhealthy, unhealthy environment for any woman to have been in, to have to to be in that situation. I had the same feeling um, that this was a predatory climate for young women and that not only were they carrying out a coup um, in which Mike Pence was in danger, but the women, based on this reporting, were at risk every day. The other thing is that you had the bandwidth to plot an insurrection, revel in the violence and grope a woman. It's just next level sick. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised by any of this. And remember, we saw Rudy do this in the Borat movie. So there, right. I mean, there's like video. It wasn't, it didn't take much to get him in that bedroom. Um, this is, look, all the reporting about Donald Trump is, you know, misogyny and bad treatment of women and calling his, his friends wives on the, you know, very, you know, not, nothing that is honorable in any way. So I was, I actually got kind of a chill too, thinking about these two men and this girl, you know, girl who's young and pretty terrified in the middle of what is an insurrection. And I, I mean, it was like something out of a movie a little bit. It was, it was something out of, do you remember kind of, I think back to kind of when I started out working in the kind of early 90s and thinking this is what you had to do and being so glad after Me Too that my daughter didn't have to go through what I went through. And then thinking, oh, this description is the kind of thing that we sort of, you know, people of my generation or older thought was just normal and what you had to put up with to go to work. And I thought that had changed. And well, you, I mean, you look at the top of any organization, and you're right, post me too, you can analyze organizations that have these issues. And the top of the organization was Donald Trump, who spoke about his own daughter in highly bizarre and sexualized ways. Yeah. I mean, that was the tone set. And so I guess it, you know, color me unsurprised that his top lawyer is accused of doing these things. Yeah, yeah and the age difference is 
is part of, you know, the right. power, it's the, it's power, it's the power, right? it's yeah. power. I want to do something um, because we, we are not them. Uh, this is a statement from Rudy Giuliani's team, quote, it's fair to ask Cassidy Hutchinson why she's just now coming out with these allegations from two and a half years ago as part of the marketing campaign for her upcoming book release. This is a disgusting lie against Rudy Giuliani, a man whose distinguished career in public service includes taking down the mafia, cleaning up New York City and comforting the nation. And that's from a man named Ted Goodman, who describes himself as a political advisor to Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And no, no one's saying we should play judge and jury, right? Um, On uh, incidents of this kind, I think we learned that during Me Too. You can't, we the public cannot play judge and jury, but you can go through a pattern of behavior right. and then you can come to conclusions. And, and we've also seen video. I mean, I think that, you know, this is not coming from nowhere, right? We have right. other... This is not like, oh, I can't imagine. I mean, again... And there is somebody know, else but... suing him for similar right. behavior. Right. And if you've read the transcript, um, yeah, I'll leave it right there. Thank you.